Beyond this field off of Highway 71-2 in Clorinda is Shank Lake. For years, it was a popular recreational destination for generations of Clorinda residents. Now the Clorinda Youth Corporation wants to make it so again, and they have ambitious plans to add a number of attractions here and once again make it a great place for children and families to come and enjoy themselves. Members of the Clorinda Youth Corporation detailed those plans during a public meeting at the Lead Public Library Thursday afternoon. CYC Board Chair Shiawa Bridie has fond memories of the lake as a youth and wants to make it a destination for future generations. The CYC's dream is to bring life back into the Shank Lake grounds for public use for everyone in Clorinda, the surrounding communities, and also for visitors staying a while or just passing through. And this project would certainly give everyone a reason to enjoy our community, Clorinda, just a little bit more. Preliminary plans call for a trail around the lake, a small campground, an RV park, a dog run, and fishing jetties, among other amenities. Former State Representative Richard Anderson is the CYC board president. Anderson says the board wants to take the next step in the lake's renaissance. Our plan is to uh, leverage people who like this idea to see what we can do as a community. Some residents voiced concerns about the proposal. One question dealt with security and oversight at the lake to prevent issues with bad behavior. And my concern is, as being one of the private residential areas mm -hmm. there, if there's going to be anybody there to oversee the park after hours to stop people from using it as party central. Other questions dealt with safety and maintenance issues surrounding the lake. Anderson says the board welcomes feedback from the public. We have some uh, local residents that are concerned about uh, safety, supervision, um, and, and just public control. And we share those concerns. We want it to be a, a family place, a safe place for everybody. And so we were, we were happy with the response today. Regarding funding, Kara Morgan of the Golden Hills RC&D says her organization will work with the CYC on securing grants for the project. Rich Anderson of the CYC board say they appreciate the feedback and they're open for more questions. Anyone with questions can email them to cycboard at hotmail.com. In Clorinda, for KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson.